Hi, I'm Dave Marsden of Cardiff Theosophical Society. This quick blast of Theosophy is about David Charm. The extracts read here are from the article entitled David Charm, written by William Kwan Judge and published in The Path magazine in 1890. David Charm, a letter to the editor from Holland upon this subject deserves reply, as I must give utterance to the questions of many other students. The complaint in this letter is that when one goes into David Charm, much time is lost away from earth life, where otherwise unselfish work for others might be continued by instantly returning to it after death. The reason given is that David Charm is an illusion. While the so-called illusions of earthly existence are in such a sense real that they are preferable to those of David Charm. In illustration of this, the supposed case is given of a parent in David Charn imagining that the beloved child is also there, when, in fact, the child, not yet physically dead, remains on earth, perhaps in misery, or leading a life of vice. This is the root of the objection, the supposed illusionary character of David Charn, as compared to earth life. Now these feelings are always due to the thirst for life in the form which presently is most known to us, that is, in a physical body. We cannot argue David Chan away any more than we can the necessity of incarnation upon this earth. The one is as philosophically necessary as is the other. A very easy way out of the difficulty, which arises almost wholly from our feelings, would be to calmly accept the law as it stands, being willing to take whatever may be our fate, whether that be in David Chan or in earth life. Our likes and dislikes can have no effect on the course of nature, but they may have an effect on ourselves which will be far from beneficial. For the dwelling upon pleasure, or the constant desire to fly from pain not yet come, will inevitably create karmic causes which we would wish to avoid. But perhaps there are some considerations on the subject of David Chan which may be of use. In the first place, I have never believed that the period given by Mr. Sinnott in Esoteric Buddhism of 1500 years for the stay in that state was a fixed fact of nature. It might be 15 minutes as well as 1500 years, but it is quite likely that the majority of those who so consciously wish for a release and for an enjoyment of heaven, the period would be no more than 1500 years. Indeed, the Hindu scriptures give many special ceremonies for the attainment of heaven, or the regions of Indra, which is Devacharm, and those ceremonies or practices are said to cause a stay in Indra Loka for years of infinite number. The first question, however, must be, what is the cause for passing into Devacharm? Some have said that it is good karma, or good acts that take us and keep us there, but this is a very incomplete reply. Of course, in the sense that it is happiness to go into that state, it may be called good karma. But it does not follow that the man whose life is good, passed in constant and selfish work for others without repining, and free from desire to have somewhere his reward, will go to David Charm. Yet his karma must be good, it must act on him, however in other lives, for the earth life is the place where such karma has its operation, but if at the same time that he is thus working for others he wishes for release, or for some place or time when and where he may have rest, then of course he must go to David Chan for a period which will be in proportion to the intensity of those desires. Again, it should not be forgotten that the soul must have some rest, were it, before becoming bright as the diamond, hard as adamant and strong as steel, to go on working, working through earth life after earth life, without a break between, it must at last succumb to the strain and come to nothing. Nature therefore has provided for it a place of rest, in David Chan, and that we should thankfully accept if it falls to our lot. Please note that all my quick blasts of theosophy are presented as ideas for consideration. Thank you.